Okay. Turn the volume down to 40 here. Alrighty. I think I am doing good. Uh, let me see here. On my end. See if everything is playing correctly. Mute my audio on the YouTubes. All right. Welcome, Coin Koi. Is everything looking good for everybody? Any lagginess? I'm gonna turn down the. Turn down the, uh, I, I don't know, the quality on my end, on my YouTube video, so that I'm able to see how everything is going. Okay, everything sound good, everything look good. The YouTube video on my end is of course being really weird. Let me look on my phone, because that's how I read the comments, where I'm sitting on my bed. It looks good on mine. Is the sound good compared to what I've got going on, is my question. Alright. Welcome, everybody, to Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. This is definitely different from what I'm usual. I am more or less usually, let me... says I am blowing the eardrums of everybody who's here. Um, awesome. Awesome possum. I am so excited to do this series because, well, Monster Hunter has been one of those games that I got late into the franchise, but when I did get into it, now I've got to get to my seat without disturbing the peace, which is most likely going to happen because there's a cat on the bed and therefore it's always going to be disturbed. Okie dokie, artichokey, here we go. What am I, 90? Who says that? Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. The game's been out for a hot minute, but it's something I have not played in almost a year. So we are going to... Uh, let me see here. I should have multiple... Yeah, I was going to say I should have... No, we don't want to do that. We should have multiple slots here to save. So, and even if it does restart my my game, that's that's okay. That's all right. I've gotten some stuff for download. Oh, downloadable content acquired. Did I did I get it all? Did, am I able to get it all? Update information. Apparently, it's been a hot minute since I've played. Uh, this update features the appearance of the new monster, Kolv Tarath. Team up with another rider to slay the foe and obtain monster materials that you cannot get anywhere else. Ooh, there's even more stuff. The Hellblade Glavinus and the Bolt Reaver Astalos lurking in them will not go down without a tough fight. Okay, that's cool. Uh, apparently there was another, Oroshi Kirin. The update features the appearance of a new monster, Oroshi Kirin. Try to defeat the legendary monster to def uh, in a new subquest. Uh, more cool stuff. Hard, uh, of course. There's, whoa, whoa, I wish I'd go back. Now, this is the one we're going to hopefully be able to do. Update allows you to keep Palamutes as Monsties. Now is your chance to get some Palamute eggs, so jump into co-op expedition quest with another rider to get a new Monstie. Six elemental Palamutes, Palamutes, however. Eggs are up for grabs in the high rank quest. Hatch them, form new bonds as you continue your adventure. We are definitely going to be attempting to get one of those while we're here. So, we're of course a boy. Boy. Oh, I wish I could throw like God of War in here. Um, let me see here. I've got a round noggin. I've been told I look like Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd's head. Um... I'm probably a pale lad. I don't get out very often. 
Uh, let's see if my DLC hairs are in here. I'm hoping they are. Is everything still sound good? Is audio, is game volume too loud compared to me? Because it's quite loud in my headset. Everything sounds equal. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I get glasses. Do I want glasses? No, I ain't no nerd. No, it's fine. You're not a nerd if you wear glasses. Um, we're going to be rocking the Legiana hairstyle today. We'll be hidden when wearing. Yeah, we know. Uh, let's change. Uh... What eyes do I want? What big eyes you have, Grandma? I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Let's get too damn bad. Uh, who do we have? Rick Rolled 101. Welcome to the stream. What? Yeah. All righty then. Uh, you know what? I could probably be here for about a month on this. Oh, this is definitely monster, uh, Dragon Quest-esque. We're doing these eyes. I like those. Uh, I have blue eyes, so we're gonna stick with the blue eyes. Um, if you guys want me to turn up game audio, or if things start sounding a little like I'm too loud or I'm too quiet compared to everything, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, let's see... Everything's always a smile. Do I do I want buck tooth? Do I want a buck tooth? I think that's more teeth instead of tooth. Uh, where'd that side smirk go? I'm gonna say that one because I do tend to smirk from the side. I don't fully commit to a smile. Uh, face paint. No, they need to have like a lipstick mark right on the cheek. Just just for the hell of it. I don't have a mole, not that I know of. Uh, I don't blush. I mean, I do blush. I've been told I have naturally. Uh, is there any, like, I think I may go this route. That's the way I went last time, or was it that way? Do you want to be Naruto? No. Um, we'll go this route here. I do like those. And we'll change the color to be, uh, let's see what I want to go here. Oh, that. I like that. Is there a way to change my hair color? There is. Because I want to kind of go the route I did with Monster Hunter World that I did. Which was, uh... uh where's it at? Where's it at? There we go. I kind of went like bright-headed boy. Boy. Oh, is it not letting me test them out? Is there a, an option to test? There is. Maybe if I always have... Say I... ah! We'll go that route. Uh, okay. So, we are going to, of course, name ourselves. Not my actual name. Because that's boring. This isn't Pokemon. Grant. No, not Leo Grant. Even though that does actually sound kind of cool. Uh, but we always go our Jurassic Park name. That is me. I am Grant. Confirm. Do do. I really hope this doesn't delete my old save file. I can like say I don't think it would. I can save over. There's multiples. I think it was just talking about like auto save kind of stuff. All right, I'll shut up. I will explain the story here. Actually, it'll explain here in a minute.
Hurry. I'm so glad. You're still alive. See you again. Oh, I look so weird just there. I don't fit in at all. Not what the is this? This is a bad sign.
Okay, so, sorry everybody, I'm not ignoring everybody talking. I don't talk through cutscenes. I try not to that way. Mahana Village. Um, I try not to talk through cutscenes, so that way everybody can get the full experience, and for anybody watching this epi or this series after I've already uploaded a live. Uh, that way everybody can just be able to hear the music, hear the talking and everything without me running my mouth the whole time. Why did you enter the sacred mountain without our permission? Why? A dangerous Rathalos lives there. Don't you think you should have mentioned that? What do you mean, dangerous? The Rathalos that inhabits the sacred mountain is Guardian Ratha. He protects this island. Huh? The people it injured might say otherwise. That's... That's because you raised your weapons at him! So you're saying we should stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider's island. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Ratha is an unforgivable act. Have you all lost your collective minds idolizing a wild Rathalos? Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Kane is right. Besides, there are children listening. Please calm yourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Well, then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Raisewing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm. Yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the wings of ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, a Rathalos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. But, but, that's, that's only a legend, right? Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. These are some long cutscenes. Okay, so a couple questions that I am seeing up in the chat here. Um, hello, Aiden, by the way. Hmm. You want to join the expedition too? There's probably only three of us I don't because. Know. This could be dangerous. And this kid only just became a real rider. Hold on. You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? That makes sense. He was your grandpa's monster, after all. I can turn that off so that way I can talk a little bit. Um, yes, I do watch Kate, uh, Clayton Fiorti. Yeah, Fiorti? Fiorti? I don't know how you say his name. Um, yes, I do play Jurassic World Alive. And uh, probably there's only three of us because Monster Hunter is not exactly something I cover on my channel often. So, or at all. And that is going to change. So hopefully we'll get like a little branch of multiple... Uh, people here um, and also where was it Aiden yes I will be also playing Jurassic World a lot uh, Jurassic World games I'm not done and for any of those who have questions like that always check the community tab because I do make sure to comment stuff like that because I know people will get on there and make comments like oh well he's no longer doing that just because I'm playing a different game I do want to cover multiple different games um, on the channel and um yeah so there you go i'm just because i'm playing another game or i'm adding a new series does not mean we are done with uh the other games at all your grandfather red was a fine upstanding rider 
He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. I bet he'd know what to do. You will join the team. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Not to worry, Kana. You'll go together. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of and what you must do as a rider. So, I'll be a teacher? Something wrong? No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbie. First things first. Go change into your rider gear. I look like a doofus. But that's okay. Oh, wow. You look the part already. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. Do I get a cool hat? I want a cool hat. It's funny. I'm looking at my TV screen and there's lag. But when I look at my computer and when I look at my phone, there is no lag. That is odd. I don't know if it's the stream kind of causing the... Alright, we're running around. We've got a giant iron great sword. I think it's a great sword. Steel great sword. I don't know. It's a great sword nonetheless. Alrighty here. So for those who are just joining us, welcome. Um, yes, I play Mario Kart. If we're going to go down every single game that's on Switch and if I play it, um, I play Pokemon, Mario Kart, a few Mario games, and Monster Hunter on my Switch. So there, we can go ahead and put that to bed right now. Because <laughs> I'm going to be here all day answering every question of every game I play on here. And Animal Crossing. Long enough. Hey, hey, you need to lighten up, newbie. God, I look like a doofus. You've got Red's jeans, don't you? Not to mention, I'll be by your side. You're sure to become a top-notch rider in no time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. Which reminds me, you still don't have a monstie, right? Then the first step is to go out and hunt for an egg that'll hatch one. You can use one of my monsties during your search. This here is Ronmar. He's a bit That's wild, a stupid name. But once you get the hang of riding him, he won't lead you astray. We'll probably have even more stupider names for our you monsters. Know, Ruby, seeing you takes me back to the time when I first rode a monstie. Huh. Anyway, enough about me. There's something very important I need to tell you. Monsties are like an extension of our bodies, you know? They take us wherever we want to go. But they're not to be manipulated. They're living creatures. You could even say they're our best friends. You need to care for them. And always remember to show your gratitude. Okay. As long as you understand that, you're set. Here, take this. Your writer's notes. In it, you can find helpful info about monsters and all the rider fundamentals. Try opening the menu to read all of your notes. Now that we've got that settled, it's time to go egg hunting. I can't wait to get started. Okay, so for those of you who do not know this series monster hunter as a whole has always been more like a collect-a-thon fighting kind of a series where you it, not collect-a-thon for monsters but you collect 
armors and weapons to build up to fight other monsters. It is, it, it, for those who have always kind of been interested in playing Monster Hunter, I would say that for newcomers, the best source would to be getting on here on the Switch. And you have, I want to say it's Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate or Monster Hunter Generations. I believe it's Generations. It takes place before this game and before Monster Hunter World. And there's also uh, Monster Hunter World for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 technically and Xbox, uh, Xbox One uh, and up where it was a that was the first Monster Hunter game I ever played was Monster Hunter World because a co-worker when I worked at Meyer had got me uh, convinced me to buy it uh, started playing that was hooked ever since um, all those years ago and it has been probably one of the best games I've ever played. I also played Monster Hunter Stories for the Nintendo 3DS. Unfortunately, that game is gone. I ended up getting rid of it, selling it with my DS. Um, so, for those of you who are interested in checking out uh, the Monster Hunter series, those are my recommendations. They definitely help you get eased into the series. Uh, and you have all a an absolute plethora of amazing monsters to, to fight. Uh, as for Monster Hunter Stories, it is a spinoff of that series where you, instead of slaying monsters and wearing their armor, you can slay those monsters, wear their armor and their weapons, and also tame them uh, to ride and use them against other monsters, or as they call them in this game, monsties. I prefer monsters because monsties just makes it sound like I'm a toddler and don't know how to say monster. So... Um, <laughs> It is, it's a very fun game, it's very Pokemon-esque, if you love monster taming games such as I, um, these are definitely amazing games to play, and I do always recommend, this game is a, kind of a rock, paper, scissors style, uh, if, for those of you who are familiar with, uh, Dinosaur King for the DS, it's kind of like that, but this one is all certain monsters, if you are familiar with the series, use certain styles more often so like an animal or a monster such as a Nargacuga for those of you who know what that is you uh, they, they focus more on speed uh, than power or technical so it can be a very technical uh, description for a game but it is pretty fun once you figure it out um, and yes a lot of the animals in this game are based on certain dinosaurs because the Capcom team uh, have even said that they, like you can see right here, you've got an Aptonoth, which looks like a Parasaurolophus. You have your, uh, I don't remember what the big, what those things are called. And you have your Velocidromes. Velociprey and Velocidromes. The Dromes are the ones that you get to ride and your prey are like smaller versions of those. Right, there's a monster den in the South Kamuna Forest. That's where we're headed. We will not be adding Velocidrome to our team this series, or this particular playthrough. This is the second time I've played this. I'm sitting here pressing A to hop on my Palamute. Wrong game. Jump is still the same. Alright, we're going to be... Of course, pick up everything we find, because that is the way to go. And this will help us make potions and armor and other weapons. And I, I, I know. Am I able to pick that up? I am iron ore. Okay, let's fight some. Ooh, spider web. Sorry. I'm very ADD when it comes to this game. I'm never taking a straight path. I'm always like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Okay. Uh, somebody do not animate that. Um. Actually, I would love it if somebody ever animated my videos. That would be great. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Let's fight these Aptonoth. Yes, you can play online with Monster Hunter. The thing is with Monster Hunter that 
that is a game that is meant to play with friends. Uh, if you don't have friends that play Monster Hunter, that's perfectly all right. You can go into hunts where uh, other people just playing online can join in and help as well. Uh, the same goes for this game, but not in the story mode. You uh, go into dens and you fight through the dens, uh, fight monsters, and you get to the very end of it and you can fight a main monster and possibly get its egg. Uh, you'll see that here very shortly. Um, I may do a little bit of online. And I do have a friend who may be getting into this game, so he may be joining online every once in a while uh, in the future. So, uh, yes, you can play online with this. And by the way, Dilly G, I absolutely love the Dr. Grant. My dear Dr. Settler, welcome to Monster Hunter. I love that. That is cool. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this battle. All right. It's an Aptonoth. These make great training partners when you're just starting out. Let's see what you and Ron Mar can do. Select fight and use the power attack. So anim uh, monsters such as the Aptonoth here will go mainly for uh, for technical at uh, for technical attacks. So as you can see up here in the left side of the screen, you have fight, technical, power, and your speed. Um, now, Velocidromes are very good with speed, that's what they main in, but with a Aptonoth having a uh, technical, they want us to go and try out power attacks, so. Wait, why did you have me do power? Okay. When you and your opponent are targeting each other directly, you'll have a head-to-head. -head. For the three attack types, power beats technical, technical beats speed, and speed beats power, like I just said. Try to remember that. And then you have that little screen right there. All right. Your enemy also used a power attack this time. It's a draw. So hers is speed. See the battle line? That shows who your monster is going to target next. Aptonoth tend to favor power attacks, don't you think? I would... I wonder if we can use that knowledge to our advantage. So I, did she, am I blind? Did she actually tell me to go for a power attack or did I? All right. Here I am describing this game like I know what I'm doing and I was wrong. You did it. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. If you and your monsties both use attacks with a type advantage, you'll perform a double attack. With a double attack, you can dual deal huge damage and avoid the enemy's attack. It boosts your kinship too. If you and your monsties went ahead to head by attacking the same opponent with the same attack same attack type, it will result in a double attack. This deals a lot of damage to the opponent, cancels their attack, and gives you a huge charge to your kinship gauge. So it's both speed. Ciao. Great work. I knew you could do it. What a heart-pounding battle. All right. So out of that, we were able to get an Aptonoth tail, tail, tail. Monster bone small, a tail and a small bone again. So apparently they have multiple tails, even though it clearly only showed one. But yeah, that is the the basic idea of the series and how you, you play through this. I do want to take a moment to say uh, welcome to everybody who is new to the stream. If you are new, please, by all means, leave a like if you are enjoying what you're seeing. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing and you want to see more, a, a, a subscription to the channel would be absolutely uh, absolutely appreciated. Um, coin koi brooding, any chance you will be playing Fortnite or Roblox? No, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I can't get into those games. I, uh, it has nothing to do with if I feel like they're childish or anything, because I have quite a few friends much older than I who also play, uh, Fortnite. However, I just cannot get into Fortnite. Shooting games are just not my cup of tea. Monster fighting tends to be more my cup of tea. Whew, we made it. Looks, let's head into the monster den and grab ourselves an egg. There are monsters in the way. We've got to fight them off. Don't 
tell me what to do. Alright, so, this is definitely one of those games, if you come across something, you always want to pick it up. Uh, items in this game are extremely useful, and even if they don't seem all that important, later down the road, you will find yourself coming back and needing to farm for items um, a lot. And this is definitely not a game for anybody who does not have a lot of patience. You will never get everything you need the first time. Uh, in order to make a full set of armor in a normal Monster Hunter game, you could probably have to fight the same monster four or five times before you get everything you need. Uh, yes, sometimes I have had monsters give me everything I need the first time or the second time, but never, uh, not always. This game here is a little bit easier. Um, you don't have to make multiple sets of armor uh, or pieces to a set of armor. We're going to fight this Velocidrome. Uh, but... Let's take on some Velocipray next. They're light on their feet and way more aggressive. I'll let you handle this battle too. This is your chance to show me what you've got. So these guys, as you know from earlier, are big into speed. So we will be going technical for these guys. Like you've taken some damage. Time to heal up. Select items and use the herb on yourself. I have to say, the music in this game is awesome. Are really heating up. How about using some of your kinship gauges charge to unleash a skill? So this is the part where uh, this is this game's mechanic where you will ride your monsters. Oh, apparently I, I can't ride it just yet. Oh, she's having me use a, uh, a special skill. Which did no more damage than anything else. Battle. Unfortunately, the beginning of this game can be quite slow. Uh, scale, scale, screamer sack, and small bone. We're almost to the den now. What, aren't we in it, den? So yes, as I was saying, this is definitely not a game to play if you don't have patience. Or, not a game, but a series in, as a whole. Uh, you must have patience to play these games. Looks like we have to cross this river. It's times like this when your monster really comes in handy. There are actions such as jump, ivy climb, or fly that you can only use when riding. The available action depends on the monster. If you're, if there is a location you cannot reach, oh, hold on. If there is a location you cannot reach, look for new monsties as they may, as they might have the right skill to get you there. When riding a monster that can jump, press B on a stone platform to jump and normally out of reach area. Right up to the stone platform on Ronmar and press B to jump. Perfect Velocidrome are great jumping, great at jumping, and we riders are great at putting Monsi skills to good work or good use. 
Oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about. You, There's a lot of run and then stop and then run and then stop every five seconds here. You can gather various items when you approach. Well, you guys, that's that's pretty basic information. Run up to something. If the A button pops up to activate it, you can do that. But this here, a lot of this is how you can make traps and... Uh, new weapons and potions and just things to help you succeed further in your hunt. Sometimes you are just constantly running and pressing A and that. Okay, ooh, right here. Nope, never mind. I thought this was a den. It is not, but they do look kind of similar to that. All right, guys, I'm going to step away just for a brief moment and let you guys observe this cutscene. Hold on. Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? a Kulu Yaku. But what in the world is it doing? taking a cat nap when all of a sudden I got attacked what what exactly are you you look like a feline but somehow different yeah. with my whip beyond compare and unparalleled flair you're absolutely right I'm not like other felines now that you mention it I'm the legend the feline hero that's right I'm Naviru uh Naviru um, I've never heard of any feline hero. Look out! It's back! Persistent Kulu, class B! Hey, buddy, you're a rider, right? Huh? How about you take care of this bumbling bird? No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry! I'll be right here to lend a helping paw! Well, looks like it's time to ride on! Okay, so, yes, you guys are getting to see one of Monster Hunter World's uh, monsters, the Kulu Yaku, a Oviraptor, Velociraptor, Dodo-like monster, and it's personally one of my favorites. I, uh, I have to say, this is, I want to say, one of the few first monsters you fight in Monster Hunter World. Uh, it's been so long since I've played that game, but, um, yeah. A lot of really, like I said, a lot of the animals in this series or monsters take uh, take on or take from d uh, designs of dinosaurs, multiple animals put together, and even some of the dragons or wyverns in this case. There's not really uh, dragons are used often in this series. Um, it's always wyverns, brute wyverns. We'll go over all that here uh, a little short, a little bit uh, later on. Anyway, let's go ahead and fight on here. Let's do this. You guys have now seen our newest companion. His name is Naviru. He is one of the feline species in this game. 
Uh, there are multiple species in this series. Of uh, You have your palamutes, which are your dog canine creatures. Your felines, which are also called palicos. Uh, they are a sentient cat species that you can talk to. They... They cook for you, they help you fight, they they are just overall friends of this universe, and they are possibly some of the coolest little creatures you will ever come across. But this guy can be quite annoying. His voice actor is not at all what I expected, and you guys are going to hear so many dad jokes and cat puns from this guy and many other palicos in the near future. So, anyway, let's do this. Just leave all the navigating to me. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. No, it's dangerous, stay back. All right, so the Kula Yaku, I believe, uses technical. So we're gonna try a speed, or a power attack. It does indeed use technical. Kuliyaku love to carry things around in their claws. Eggs, rocks. All right, Koi and Koi, we'll see you later, brother. Uh, you sure know your monsters, don't you? He's been in places. We're just going to spam our power attacks because he really doesn't use anything else. Later on in the series or in the game, you'll start coming across animals. I keep saying animals, creatures that will kind of mix it up a little bit as you go to, as to make the game a little bit harder, which it can get quite difficult. All right. Wonder if it's gonna use that rock to block all of our attacks. Guess we've gotta do something about that rock first then. All right, so this is going to be introducing a new mechanic. Well, new mechanic to this game, not a new mechanic to the series. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, I've got an iron hammer now. So now we're able to switch our weapons mid fight you can switch to a different weapon even in the middle of battle select skills then hit switch weapons all right now we're going to continue with our power attacks A blunt attack. I think this is going to work. Keep on smashing and bashing, newbie. The physiology of large monsters may differ, uh, which affects how effective slash, blunt, or pierce weapons are against them. Alright, so pretty much certain things do better against certain monsters. So, try attacking a body part with different weapons. So, this is the part that I really like, and that is you can attack different body parts of a monster depending on the size. This one, since it now has a rock, it will start doing... Um, so close. Alright, so this should destroy the rock. And the rock is now broken. Welcome back, Dilly G. All attacks on a downed opponent will be a critical hit. They're more likely to drop items, too. Your kinship gauge is maxed out. Now is your chance to ride on. Here's one of my favorite parts of this game is using kinship attacks. They always have really 
freaking hilarious animations. Riding makes your bond stronger, but be careful. You'll get knocked off if you lose too much in a head-to-head. -head. You can ride monsties once your kinship gauge has filled up. Riding recovers the monsties health by an amount equal to its rider's health. The fully restores HP for the rider. It also boosts attack and defense. Items are usable while riding as well. Powerful kinship skills can only be used when riding. Winning a head-to-head -head while riding raises your kinship level, making kinship skills even stronger. Oh lord, there's more to read. You will automatically dismount after using a kinship skill. If your HP drops to zero or you lose a head-to-head -head twice, you'll be knocked off your monsty, but you won't lose any hearts. Using a kinship skill simultaneously with your battle buddy results in a powerful double kinship skill that hits all opponents. This is a lot to read. Okay. Okay, time to show this monster the power of teamwork. The main game is definitely a lot more adult than this one. Like I said, this is definitely a childish game. Unfortunately, we're going to be seeing a, a combo attack. You did. That's right here what I'm talking about. Positively claudacious. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. Alright. We got an A for that. I don't know what else we could have done to get like S rank or anything, but we did get that. Uh, we've got stuff to make Kuliaku armor, which we may have enough to make the armor. Alright, we did it, buddy! Boy, it was my heart thumping. But you did great, newbie. Looks like you've got your grandpa's skills. What did I tell you? This famous feline knows talent when he sees it. This is the start of something epic, I tell you. From here on out, we're gonna be partners. And I'll do it all totally free of charge. Although, if you really want to thank me, I wouldn't say no to a couple of donuts. <laughs> You know, you could just ask for something to eat if you're hungry. Oh, hey! Get back, you guys! Who said I was monster munchies? <laughs> this furball's not like other felines, huh? But hey, you got an egg out of the deal. Wanna head home? All right, Frank, enjoy your yard work, my friend. Where your Hispanic duty, as you put it. <laughs> home sweet home. Come on, let's go hatch your egg. Meet me at the grounds above the stables. All right. I wish they would have made all the weapons that are in Monster Hunter series, but unfortunately there's only a select amount of weapons in this game. Or er, weapon styles, I guess. Excellent. And you're the one who found this egg? Yep, that's right. I can tell a good egg just by the smell. I see. Just as Kana said, you are an odd feline. And you clearly know quality when you see it. It's a very fine egg, I'd say. You're going to hatch a great little monsty from it. I wonder what kind of monster it'll be. I can't wait to find out. Go on, stand in front of it. Why is everybody telling me what to do? All right, this. Is Wow. 
What's he doing? It's the ceremonial dance of our people. We perform it to bring luck to a ship's voyage, or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg. Whoa! Awesome moves! So Dragon Santa has Ready? moves. We've learned this stone. much. It will link your heart with your monsty and help it hatch. And now he's going to stand in that position until I do anything. I hope he's got a good back on him. Is he dancing again? Believe in yourself. You can do this. And now we're a Power Ranger. We now have a baby Kulu Yaku. And I already have a nickname for this particular guy. Or girl, whichever. I don't know. But we're gonna name it Melon. Nope, we're not. That's. It's not letting me. There we go. We're gonna be naming it Melon for the sheer fact that the, uh, the last Melon joke from Ice Age has been on my mind lately. So, you know. Because dodos. So we have a dodo named Melon. It worked! It's a cool Yaku! Ah. Nicely done. It's already accepted you as its rider. I'm so proud, sir. If only your grandfather were here to see this. Can you stop touching my face? This is very inappropriate. Huh? What you doing, Ronmar? You want to stay with the rookie? Seriously? And after everything I've done for you? Ronmar's just being honest with his feelings. Perhaps if you were gentler with him, maybe. Hmm? Oh, is that so, Mr. Hero? I ought to wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> Come now, Kana, there's no harm in it. All right, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just take good care of Ronmar, okay? You and your monsties gotta work together to help each other grow. Got it? Nice going, buddy! There's a lot of animal abuse going on in this. Probably shouldn't say that word. That'll get flagged. I have to watch what I say on YouTube these days because YouTube's a bunch of weenies. Can't say certain right. words. You've got Ronmar as a monster now, too. So what should I have you do next? Uh, go out and find good more monsters. Timing. There's a new monster den on Rider Overlook. You'll go investigate for me, won't you? Rider Overlook, huh? Patrick, going there is a rite of passage for new riders. Your grandpa had me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ronmar. It was a real thrill ride, I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. Don't yeah, Peter, please don't sue me. Kana? Yes, Dragon Santa. Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. Oh, thank you. And you're gonna need Waifu. Ronmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. Okay, before you go, it's time for another lesson. Oh, for God's sakes. The next essential for being a rider is combining. You can make lots of items to help in the field or just select them Okay, we here. we I I can explain this port this port. I can explain this part myself. 
But I do want to say, for anybody who is new, welcome to the stream. And of course, please leave a like if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing, please, by all means, leave a subscription. That way you can come back and see more whenever you'd like. All right, so there's a lot to do in town before we go out welcome. and start doing some more hunts. So we, of course, have our smithy here who is going to make new stuff for us. So if we have two different options here, our armor, we have the Kulayuku armor, the bone armor. Oh, of course it covers my, uh, well, usually there's, there's actually, um, let's see, hunter armor, Kulayuku armor, and I'm trying to think what does the best here. So it looks like, the Kulayuku armor is going to be the best option for us. So if we can make, yeah, we can do that. So deliver. And now we have new armor. Yes, we're going to equip it. Um, as for weapons, let's see here for a ham. So we have, oh goodness, it's gonna do this for every one of them. It is, I can describe, explain all of this to you guys. I'll just get out of those. So that's probably a theme we're going to be going for. So anyway, as you can see here, we have the sword and shield, great sword. Was that iron? It was iron. The sword and shield, great sword, hammer, hunting horn, bow, and the gun lance. Now, of course, we're going to be doing gun lance this playthrough because I've never done one before, and it looks awesome. Um, however, I don't know which which uh, route I want to go if I want to go the iron gun lance or the bone gun lance so I think what we'll do uh, I'm going to leave this up to you guys what do you think we should do the bone lance or the iron lance uh, as for bows you can make different bows as well uh, the hunting horn what hunting horns do is it allows you to boost your defenses your attack uh, help you heal each round um, it really, it's kind of like for those who want to be, play the support route. Uh, each, each horn has its own style of music. I have had horns that sound like guitars. I've had horns that sound like bongos. It's, it, they're really cool. Um, I don't think we're going to go that route though for this particular series. I, of course, want to do the, uh, let's see, we have our bone cleaver. I could do that but I also wouldn't be able to use my gun lance. So we're going to go ahead. I'm not getting any comments on what style lance we should use, so I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to go the... Actually, we could do this. We could go the iron gun lance route. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money, so what we're going to do is sell something. We're going to sell... Uh, can we sell armor? We're going to sell our riding armor. That'll give us 350. And then sell our weapons. And we can... Uh, unfortunately not sell any of those. Can we sell talismans? We don't have any talismans. Don't have any trading items. So let's say we want to sell... Um, we don't want to sell our bones. That would be stupid um we could sell our aptonoth tail for 20 we can sell our uh well we can sell the, the plume of the kulu and then sell the beak as well sell our velocipray pieces for 30 and we're still coming up short. So what we can do here, uh, probably go for the screamer sacks. That'll give us an extra hundred. And I think we'll go, what can we sell for 30 that I know we're gonna have plenty of. Oh, I'm at 40, joke's on me. Uh, we'll just sell one of these. And now we have enough for our 
bone, uh, we'll, we'll go, what did I say? We'll go the steel route. That way we're able to... see here I I love how all of my emails all of anything I have um, everything always pops up as I'm talking so yeah we're gonna go and now we have a gun lance I've never used a gun laser Thank before, you. so this is going to be... Oh, there's even more stuff. Alright, uh, let me see here how... It's been a little while since I've... Equipment. Uh, we are going to set up... The iron gun lance. And our giant sword. I kind of want to make my gun lance my main... Item here. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, that's a giant silicanth. Much just telling me that I can. Uh, what is going on? Okay. All right. What sub quest do we have today? This is gonna be a lot of stuff. Oh, but I can already turn that one in. Turn in raw meat. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna see what we can do here. Because I. How long have we been streaming for? I don't know how long this has been. Looks like an hour and 11 minutes. We'll probably give it another. We'll probably do it about two hours. And then I will get off at that point so that would be eh, about one o'clock uh eastern time uh how do i do this there we go actually i want to go with melon for a little while there we go so we'll go ahead and hunt a few of these guys here Okay, so as you guys could see, ooh, that was S-Rank. As you guys could see, that monster got up and ran away, meaning we can now go to its den and uh, hatch and get its egg. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is we're going to run around here and get some materials so that we... Get some honey. Gotta get honey for them max potions uh, later on. Alright, so I do want to find... I think there's a chest up here. 
There's lots of... Lots of dens all around here. But there's one monster in particular. We will not be keeping Melon on the team. Melon is just going to be our, like, starting monster to help us out. We're not going to be keeping Ronmar on the team either. skill here. And he picked up a rock for the worst time. Alright, now we're gonna switch out here then. Oh, I don't have my hammer. I didn't think about this. See if he'll do. Oh, why are you not using your main attack? That hurt. I want to at least uh, be able to do. There we go. All right. Let's go and use our kinship skill, which I, I can't say I've seen this one before. <laughs> okay, that was good. All right, new a head-to-head -head showdown here. So these pretty much you just spam A to make sure you stay on top. And hopefully this knocks the monster over so that we may... It does not. So I'm going to switch my weapon out. Uh, and we're going to now... Oh, I can't use any of them. We're gonna, let me see here. Oh, every time, so, bad monster to fight if I want to actually be able to do any damage. Because they, well, without my, uh...
see if we can match up here. Oh, oh, we're all gonna tie. Uh, who are you gonna be facing? Okay, so you're kind of just doing whatever you want. So we should probably heal up Melon. Yeah, this monster is one of those ones that will definitely spam uh, a shield. And it does get obnoxious. But we can ride now. See if we can... Let's see here. We can predict. There we go. Can do it again? Yeah. Let's get to level three. There we go. That is the max. Oh, he didn't lose his egg. That's weird. All right. Uh, Cora, hello. I never thought I'd see you on a stream. Welcome. here I think we can finish this off yeah there we go yeah. Oh, we didn't gain a level from that and that was still an S rank even though we lost one fight there interesting All right, so unfortunately we did lose a heart from that. So I want to see if we have anything that we are able to make to uh, give a heart back to that. It doesn't appear we can. So we are having a fantastic day. Thank you for asking. Alright. It's always a fantastic day when Monster Hunter is involved. Ooh, a thousand. Okay, that'll help us uh, in the future. So, I don't know if there's a particular den that we need to be going to. But what I'm going to do here is we're going to go into this den. I want to avoid any Kula Yakuza if possible. Because I really cannot stand the constant egg shield. So even if we come across one, I may straight up just like run from the fight. Ooh, we got a charm. And there's some bull drones. These guys are interesting. Alrighty, let's see here. I believe these guys main in power attack, so let's try speed. They do indeed. Bullfango. Uh, let's see if we have anything here. Nope, nothing yet. So we're just gonna keep spamming speed. Yeah, this game, uh, the 
Bullfango or the... They, uh, they have possibly... Alright, we should be able to do... Uh, let's go... Oh, they're both targeting me, so it doesn't matter. And that still didn't beat it. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna ride for this one. Let's see here. Yeah, let's build up a little bit of kinship. This should kill it off. I can't get over the little dainty feet. I love it. Though I really do wish we could kind of create our own palico. There we go. Oh, that's still... We are one away. Okay, that gave us our raw meat that we need for our other quest. And Cora says I need to go to the one with the good coffee shop. I am going to do everything in my power to find that. Alright, there is the... the uh, Is it a bulldrome? I think it's a bulldrome is the... Ooh, some bones. Is the big version of the pig. and Or the... Uh, we'll call it the alpha. And uh, the armor that you can gain from him is actually quite awesome. I do want to go into my settings real quick, and I want to see if there's a way to turn my helmet back on. Because my helmet is... Uh, where's the options? I do enjoy having the helmet on, and it doesn't appear... Uh, off where... display? No. Camera? Is it an other... Uh, there we go. Uh, auto save is on. Everything is on. I do want to say, I want to save, and I want to see if there's a way that I can. Is there an option to save? Option. I thought there was a save option. Because I really didn't want to. Uh, let me see. I could have sworn there was an option to save a game. Maybe it's... Oh, that's right. This is one of those games you have to go back to your house to save. Uh, there was a beetle somewhere around here. Thunderbug. There we go. Thunderbug can make some amazing traps and things. Stuff and things, you know. All right, so we want to go this way. The bulldrome, though. Ooh, I hear some sparklies. The bulldrome, though, I believe in the original games. Looks like there are no monsters at this nest. Might be our chance. There is one single monster from this area. I'm hearing jingles. Get down. Get down, pup. You can't be up here. Get down. You know your mama don't want you up here. Alrighty here. Hope there's a butterfly. Or as my lady calls them, butterflies. Gotta get our daily dose of butterflies. Uh... Okay. When riding a monster that can search, press B to check the area. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Melon here can search for eggs. Or nest. Let's see what we got here. 
Uh, doesn't really smell like much. So the heavier they are and the stinkier they are, the better they are. And there should be an egg here with some sparkles. And it looks like it may just be a Velocidrome egg constantly. Yeah. Let's see if we can at least get... There we go. So we can get a sparkle egg. And you can get sparkles, and I think you can even get a better egg when it, there's like a rainbow effect to it. So, a rainbow effect is what we're going to want to be going for. Leave. And I think later, maybe the next episode or so, or whenever we can, we may be farming for a Palamute egg. Because I really want the dog. Humble bird wyvern egg. Okay, so that's that one. We're going to be looking for... Not the Kulu. I don't know if we'll be able to get the egg this episode, but there is a particular... Because we've got about 20 minutes left for this first episode. Unfortunately, the beginning of the game is quite slow, as are most... Oh, over here. These are who we're looking for, I think. There we go. Three bullfangos. Not bull drones. Wait, no? I don't know which one we're looking for anymore. I think it's probably a smart idea, though, to switch out our Monsty to, uh, Ronmar here. Don't be getting power attacks. Alright, so, quick moment to thank everybody who is currently on the stream. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us, and I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. If you are enjoying yourself, leave a like, and if you enjoy what you're watching, by all means, possibly subscribe. That way you guys are able to see as much Jurassic Park and Monster Hunter as you want. Two left. I should be able to do. Eh, we'll do a. Still can't ride. Should do enough to do it in. Oh, no, or not. This should be enough to do it in.
that's how you do it. go to this particular one because I feel like we really do want to get to the main Ooh, I'm hearing sparkles there was a mushroom there Where did it say the... Did I pass it? Oh, I passed it way a bit ago. Uh, we need to go back. It's way over there. We Sploot. Okay. Oh, there's a few things over here I do want to no I want to get by these guys here and I think Ron Mars faster yeah Ron Mars a little bit faster Taking us into a big den. This may be the den within a den kind of a situation. Must be Christmas morning and nobody told me. The atmosphere in here is kind of creepy though, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Avoid the bugs. That'll be the way to go, is up that. Right across here. Gotta get those mushrooms. I think there's an Aptonoth up here, which we could probably just run right by. Oh, no, there's a few Aptonoth. Actually, they run from us. Usually nine times out of ten, so we can just run right around them. And uh, of course, I've hit a dead end. Really hoping this will be the right way to go, because I very much would like to get to this particular monster. Uh, let's see here. We 
I haven't been this way yet. Uh, I think we're getting there. Are we there yet? Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. And I cannot deny the need for treasure. Rogue, or a paratoad, as you will. Okay, so I really hope we're not going to be coming across another what of these. This is the first Velocigrove we fought. Uh. one's angry. Um, I don't remember what it uses. I think it may be going power attack now, so if it's going power, let's try that. Yep, it's going power. gonna do no nope, it's gonna probably do power again because it's ticked off so we'll probably get kinship up to never mind that was enough to do it in I'll take level or S rank I'll take S rank no problemo all right, we did it, buddy. Time to pick an egg. Each nest will have a bunch of different eggs in it, but you can only pick one to take with you. If it's a heavy egg that smells good, it probably has rare monsters inside. So, heavy and smells good. Those are the two things we want the most out of it. Heavy and smells good. Did I get it? Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. There's a boot or flu. Let's hop off our Ronmar here and see what all we can get. Nope, that's a Velocidrome. Don't want a Velocidrome. Still a Velocidrome. I think that's what we're going to be stuck with is a Velocidrome. Or a Velocid... And they're all gone. Alright, not not at all what I, what I wanted. I, I think that's kind of unfair that they just start throwing all these... Velocidrome eggs at you when you know that you've already got a Velocidrome. I think I'm going to have to change the thumbnail up and post because I was expecting that we would get... Is there any... Is there a Dilop Dilophosaurus-themed dinosaur in this game? There actually is. There's quite a few, believe it or not. And I, uh... We're not going to get to that today, unfortunately. But yes, there are quite a few uh, dinosaur-themed animals in here. There, There's even, like, I don't know, if you take, like, a Styracosaurus and a dragon and put it together. Called a Monopolos. And you'll even come across something called a, um, a Tigrex, which is a T-Rex and a dragon combined. It, it really is a game that you would... I feel like it, a lot of people would fall in love with this 
if they've never even played the Monster Hunter series. But there is indeed a Dilophosaurus esque monster in this. Alright, look at all this stuff to do. So, we'll go hatch our egg. Oh, I love this guy. He's seeping. He's just seeping. Let's get to say, kid. I'll be a monster expert one day. You'll see. I'm something people call a child prodigy, after all. Strong eggs are heavy and have a nice smell, but it's hard to tell which ones are good or bad. I wish I had a navigating partner who could tell me which eggs are best by their smell and weight. So heavy and smell good. Oh, gotta take him up here to Chief Dragon Santa. No, where are we going with these? They're just Velocidrome eggs, so I'm not exactly too excited for these, but, you know. Yay, you're back! How'd you like your first solo quest? It's pretty wild, right? I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Huh. Was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Uh, real quick here. It is dope, believe me. I actually think it's the next area. Oh, excuse me. Big yawn. Ah, it's the next area where we get access to that particular monster. The Dilophosaurus-esque monster. And maybe I'll use it. I've never used it before. I don't know. It really, it may not be all that good depending on how some of the bosses go in this game. So it really just depends on... Uh, certain monsters, it's not like Pokemon where you're like, oh, I can make this work. Certain monsters are definitely not meant for end game. <laughs> so, we'll have to find out. And am I excited for Camp Cretaceous Season 5? You absolutely be better believe I am. Uh, okay, so we're rounding up. Probably, uh, I will see. I may use it. It really just depends on how, how well it does. Uh, I'll have to probably, we'll probably just do a stream of this where it's not really following story but it follows a lot of just like going into dens and getting eggs fighting monsters and trying to get the best eggs we can for a potential team I'm gonna avoid using monsters that I've used before um, there's one I may end up using called the Anjanath which is the monster as you can see on the thumbnail today which I thought we would get to that point but it doesn't seem like we will so because we are already Rough, uh, two hours in almost, about a little past one o'clock. I may play Mario Kart on the channel. I'm not 100% sure, so I won't be able to really give you an answer yet. And uh, Cora says, haven't seen it yet, but I want to know that I've seen... Wait, I haven't seen it, but I want to now that I have been the last Jurassic World movie. Yeah, it's no it really you. is a good series to watch. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Oh, wow. You're right. Huh. I'm a better teacher than I thought. Which is it? Thanks to your teaching or because this is Red's grandkid? Huh. Who cares? The newbie did a great job, and that's what counts. What do you think, Kana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Hmm. You should go with them too, just in case. Why so serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it. We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Turf wars? What's that? It's when monsters fight over territory. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. 
I didn't even like nod my head. I kind of like bobbed it. That was weird. I'm going to do a quick change to my hair so that I'm actually able to... We're going to do a quick change up here. Um, I don't remember where my house is. It may be probably where the house picture is. Uh, right up here. I get a little boat. Plus, this is where we got to save it. Imagine if the reason Billy takes the eggs in JP3 is to sell them to Genetics Company. Yeah, that would be, uh, that would actually be pretty screwed up. All right, so here's our chest where we can do multiple things. We have little costumes for Naviru, uh, which we could probably change up here periodically. There are our two Anjanaths. You have an Anjanath, and then you have, uh, a Thunder Anjanath. A, uh... I don't remember its name. A Folger Anjanath. It's right there at the bottom. A Folger Anjanath and a regular Anjanath. Or Folger Anja costume. Here's our Nergigante, who is an elder dragon of the series. He's really cool. Our little Kulu Yaku costume and his little egg. Oh, there's so many cute things in here. So I think we're going to probably go ahead and give him uh, a Folger. No, we'll give him regular Anjanath costume. I think it's cute. And then we can change our appearance as well. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll change our hair up if we're able to. Because I really didn't expect us to constantly be... So we can have long, luscious locks. We can have dreadlocks. We can have whatever hair this is. This makes us look like a character from the series that I really like. All these different hairstyles. All right, I think we're gonna go. Where'd it go? I think we're gonna go with this hairstyle. That way, we're able to have uh, our different armors. But here are the different. Let me see here, and this shows us the helmets that we're able to use. But this gives us. All of our stuff. So I think we're going to stick with this armor right here. The Kimura Garb from Monster Hunter Rise. I really have been wanting to use this. So I think we'll stick with that. And then maybe we'll uh, branch out and do the other armors later on. Alright. Uh, I unfortunately can't give him many things to make him look like Alan Grant. I, I would if I could. I think there may be cowboy stuff later on, but I honestly can't remember. I know there's a cowboy armor or outfit in uh, the uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak DLC. Uh, this music makes me think of Christmas time in a toy store. I do agree. It does, doesn't it? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save. So, yay! I still have my other fi file. This is tells you what we can have potential-wise on there and that gives us all of our different monsters down there at the bottom but we're not going to be covering that one we're going to save all right i'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here i cannot thank you all enough for who uh, for joining us on our adventure in monster hunter stories 2 the wings of ruin uh we will probably be doing live streams every thursday because that seems to be the best day for me to do live streams and also my days for my video editing. It's not that I haven't been doing content. I've got content that needs to be uploaded. I just haven't been able to get to it because of all of the work going on. And I need my Thursdays are set for my recording days and my video editing days. So you can expect to start seeing more stuff like that. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see these particular videos as live streams. Or would you guys like to see them as uh, uploaded Let's Plays? I think live streams would be a, bit, a little bit easier for me because that's less uh, editing I have to do. And that's less uh, all this stuff I got to do. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's easier on me, uh, but I will let you guys decide that. I'll probably still end up doing let's, live Let's Plays of this particular series. Just because this particular series is so large. It is a very big game. It is a JRPG after all. So, um, and live streams are fun. So you can, I can get bugged by 
by Lady Cora here. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this episode or this series and you guys have not just yet, leave a like, of course. And uh, if you guys enjoyed what you have seen today and want more of it, please subscribe and then hit that bell icon. That way you're able to get more, uh, more Monster Hunter content and more... Oh, excuse me. More Monster Hunter content and more Jurassic Park content. Um, and uh, again, thank you to all who joined us today. I am excited for this series. I've got butterflies in my stomach all over again to play this game, and it feels great. So thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I hope to see you guys again. Let me get up here and get to get to my, my computer so that I can turn this off, but uh, ignore my my like random babbling as I get over to it. Thank you all for watching. I love you all and I'll see you all again in the next video.